welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to dive into the exciting world of cyber security by installing the Kali Linux on VirtualBox so let's not waste any time and get started open any browser in your laptop or PC and now you should initially download the softwares of the VirtualBox so type virtualbox.org Click enter and it opens the website. Click on the download button. Here you, you can see that Mac OS and Intel host and Windows host. Here uh, if you are using Mac, Mac, you can click on Mac OS. If you are using Windows, you can click on the Windows. So here I am using Windows. So I am clicking on the Windows host. See it's directly downloading into your laptop. So here I am cancelling because of it's a, I already in, downloaded it and set up it and now you should install and set up it after that you should download the ISO file of Kali, Kali Linux so initially type kali.org for downloading the Kali Linux iOS okay. Click on the download button and scroll down. Here it will take us to the installer images. Here you can see that Kali Linux 2023.4 change log. Here we are using the laptop 64 bit. So I am downloading the 64 bit. Here click on the download button. It will directly download into your laptop. I already downloaded it. So I am cancelling here. Now after setting up the virtual box, open your virtual box and it is the user interface of virtualbox so we should create a new one click on the new and give name a uh, name for the file so whatever you want so I, I am here i am giving kali linux see here type is also taken linux and version is also taken within the linux 2.6 64 bit and click on the next here it is overwriting so I already named that Kali Linux so you should change the name here Kali Linux here see and now right click yes here it's ask hardware in base memory you should place up to 8 gb ram above and processor you should select two processors and click on the next and after the hard disk you should maintain 50 gb approximately after that click on the next and that's it it is the final step of the creating virtual virtual machine of Kali Linux and click on the finish now open your settings of the Kali Linux now you created go to the network adapters here it is attached to the NAT NAT network so you should change it to the bridge adapters and here I am using Wi-Fi so it's showing Wi-Fi if you are using Ethernet it will show the Ethernet and I am selected uh, Wi-Fi and click on the OK after that you should start your machine now it will pop up a window of uh, starting of the virtual machine of Kali Linux here you can see a small pop-up of select your DVD ISO file so here drop down the button and click on the others you should select the 
file of the ISO file where you downloaded here I download in Kali Linux so I, I select the Kali Linux ISO file and open after that click on the mount and re try boot automatically it, it mounted background and retry it you can see here it started immediately it is initially selected in the graphical installation or you want to install in the format of another way you can uh, click on the down arrow and you can select here I am using graphical installation after that click uh, click the enter button now you can see here it asking select a language here I am selecting the English and click on the continue and here you should select your location here I am in India so I am selecting the India and click on the continue button after that you should configure the keyboard I am here click I am here selecting the American English so I am clicking continue after that it will detect and uh, installing the Kali Linux here you can see it asking the host name so here I'm initially giving the Kali and clicking on the continue and also it asking domain name I am also giving Kali Kali and clicking on continue after that it will ask the username of the full name here here also I am giving Kali after that click on continue and it will text username for your account as a Kali keep it with Kali and continue and you should choose your password here here also I am giving Kali as a password see you can see and read re-enter your password and click on the continue and that's it And here it is asking the partitions of the disk here I am using use enter disk and clicking on the continue after that partition disk it ask it is asked also here I initially when I am setting the virtual machine I given the 54.5 GB I said here I am taking the 54.5 GB as a hard disk and click on the continue and also I am giving first option all files in one operation recommended for a new user so and click on the continue and finish and uh, after that it will ask finish partition and write changes to this and keep that option and click on the continue and here you should change the disk to the here it asking no and yes you should select yes and continue And that's it it will take a time if your network is so fast it will take so fast if your network is slow it will take a lot of time asking software selections no need to select anything simply click on the continue
here you can see that it's asking for the installing the grub bootloader click on continue here and it will start the grub bootloader and here if you see that it's asking yes or no click on the yes if it's selected with the no click on the yes and after that click on the continue and <coughs> select second option and click on the continue button and after that it will installing the grub bootloader Here it please choose continue to reboot the Kali Linux and click on the continue it will finish the installation and it will reboot. You can see it is booting of the Kali Linux. And that's it. The Kali Linux is done installing and it's loading up. Here you should give the username of your you should give your username. I'm here giving Kali and also your password and click on the login. You can see we logged in. it for today guys till now we discuss how to install kali linux on virtual box in upcoming videos we will see how to install various operating systems on virtual box thank you for watching please make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon